Okay, it's the 29th of October, 2015. This is the uh, classic A-liner with a broken air conditioner. <clears throat> this uh, we took delivery on in May of 2013. And it's uh, two and a half years later. It doesn't, it turns on, but it doesn't blow air. So I've checked around and you can buy a new 5000 BTU LG for, oh, 250 bucks. But the factory has a replacement for this one, which now is a new model. It's two inches longer than this one, necessitating a new uh, cover for $51. And they want about 400 for the new unit. They're going to send it to me with the brackets underneath cut off. You can see where these brackets were cut. Those will be cut off and it will have <coughs> the uh, fairing around the outside that you take and put in. So got an estimate from the dealer, Como RV, for maybe two and a half, three hours at 115, 120 an hour to repair it. <coughs> so I thought I'd take a shot at it myself. With the uh, air conditioner removal from the A-liner, uh, what I did was I pulled off the little uh, track. There were four tiny little screws. The one on the end wasn't into anything. It was only finger tight. These were the only three that were into anything. And <clears throat> they're just a little square head uh, screw that comes out. And then I also pulled the brackets off that attach right down here on the bottom. There's one on each side. That's where your little strap for your cover holds into. And those were just caulked. You just have to get the caulking off and then you can put your little bit in and do it. And now <clears throat> I've uh, drilled off two heads on this side on the pop rivets and I'm just going to show you real quick if you've never done them before. Um, basically put your drill on there Do a little twirl. And you see, she pops right off. And they just take a minute. There are uh, three on each side, uh, four on the top, and I don't see anything else on the bottom, just a, a, a plastic bracket under here. And then you can just get a little drift punch. See how they just punch right out. So once I do all those, then we'll see what else is involved in the process of removal. I don't think there's any attach on the inside, but I'll get in there after a while. But for now, I'll shut it off and drill my rivets. It's uh, 88 today. It's the 2nd of November 2015 in Florida. And uh, 88 degrees. But I got it out. Uh, here it is. You saw it from the back. Uh, you do have to go inside. And you can see the bead right here. You just cut that, cut that out. You'll you'll see the white bead in there. Just cut that, and then she'll come right out. And then the rest of this is how it is. Um, for you see, my rivets are still there. I'm going to have to flush those out and deal with those, drill those out, and get rid of them. Now the new unit has not arrived yet, should be here tomorrow. Okay, we're continuing on the install. We have the new air conditioner came in. And this is a brand new one. It came in, it's a little bit longer than the old one, by an inch and say three quarters. And they gave us a new cover to put on. Uh, this is a model LW5015E. I looked it up at Home Depot and it's uh, about $139. A-liner charged $397.60 for this one. Uh, so it's about $258 difference. Now this one, the new one, uh, comes in with the piece already on, riveted on, the bracket, and the holes drilled. And I did a placement on this and I noticed that it uh, doesn't line up exactly on the right-hand side. But when they do it at the factory, uh, what they'll do is 
tape and drill those holes with a template. And then this installation over here, you turn that, uh, will not be drilled. So they'll just use that as a template to drill it. And they'll all line up. So what I'll have to do when I install it, I think all these will line up okay. The right side will be off just a little bit. And I'll have to put a little bit of oversize uh, holes in there. I can either step it up to a quarter inch rivet diameter or just put in a uh, little oversize. So I'll probably oversize it. And to mention the uh, rivets that come with it are half inch grip length. Uh, you can see them. And then they're 3 16 rivet. Something you can find at a hardware store pretty common. And then on this side, the other option would be to put in a couple other strengthening ones, but I don't think you'll need to since these holes will be a little wobbly. Or you could, as I said, step it up. So let me uh, put in the new one. And I've already run it. And it's okay. So you see, there it goes in. And if you come over here, these holes all line up. But over here, you can see they're off. Whoever riveted on, it's just a little bit different. So I'll have to send my 316s to drill through. And then I'll let that hang there. Then you take your pop rivet tool, pop rivet goes in. And basically, you'll get it in all the way. See, I'm having a little bit of trouble getting that, so I'm going to have to get my drill out and make them so they fit. Maybe uh, it's, it's not lined up. Those two okay. are lined up. This one over here fits, so I'll put in the ones that fit. Uh, I'll put in the ones that fit and then start pop ribbon and then I'll have to line the other ones up. Okay, hold that. Okay, uh, the air conditioning project is done for the A-liner high wall. Uh, put it in, you can see it's running. A little caulk around here. There wasn't much uh, structure underneath these four screws so I put a little caulk on the back and just very slightly hand tighten them with a, a screwdriver, a square headed screwdriver, then caulked. This is different application than the old one. This caulk right in here is pretty tough to do. You can see on the old one, the difference in where the bracket is, it's because of the different distance and the uh, depth of the unit. So you won't be able to get as much caulk right there, but it'll still work well. Then just a little caulk here, caulk on the outside here and these were just I reattached the hold down straps I tried the new cover the black cover put it on and it fit real well for 52 bucks and then uh, coming around on the inside the only thing you need to do is put a caulk right here on the top this little strip. It's running, cooling, feels real nice to have the AC back in again. Uh, it wasn't too tough a project, but if, if the thing goes out one more time, if it breaks again, what I'm going to do is just go down to Home Depot, buy a new unit. I'm going to remove these pop rivets and save this old flange. There's just four of them and then the uh, plastic plastic on the bottom, a couple screws here, pull this whole thing off and I'll have it for a next installation if I need it. And of course I will also have this here. Uh, but it wasn't too hard a project, I'd say uh, for a dealer to charge probably an hour, maybe a little bit over an hour labor wasn't, wasn't too tough. Nice little project, easy to do. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Signing off.